Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this gable frame using moment distribution method. This is a symmetrical frame. In the vertical members A, B, D, E and in the inclined members B, C and C, D there is no load. In the joint C we have a nodal point load 32 kN. Height of AB and DE is given as 4 meter. We have to find the inclined length of BC and CD. We know that both of them will be same. In this triangle, let us apply Pythagoras theorem. The base of the triangle is 4 and the height is 3. Root of 3 square plus 4 square, we will get 5 meter. That is the inclined length of BC and CD. Since this frame is symmetrical and the loading is also symmetrical, we can split the frame in the center and we can take only the left side and do the analysis. When we take only the left side, we have to take half of this load 32 upon 2, it will be 16. Here I have taken only the left side. We know that in the moment distribution method, in the sway frames, we have to do the analysis two times. First the non-sway analysis and then the sway analysis. Now let us start the non-sway analysis. In this frame, except this load, there is no other load. So we can take this load as the sway force S. Yes. Now let us start the sway analysis. From the joint B, let us make the frame sway by delta towards the left. Let us keep S dash as the force which causes the sway. Let us make a parallel line to BC. We can connect these two points and these two points and then we can make an inclined line so that we will get a triangle. We have kept this displacement as a delta. If this is a delta, this horizontal distance also should be delta. Let us keep the inclined length as a delta i. We have to find a delta i in the terms of delta. This angle and this angle will be same. Let us keep the angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us find sin theta that will be 3 upon 5. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, sin theta will be delta upon delta i. We can equate these two. Finally, for a delta i, we will get 5 upon 3 delta. So for the member a, b, we have to take this displacement which is delta. For the member BC, we have to take this displacement which is 5 upon 3 delta. Now let us find the fixed end moments developed due to sway. The formula is 6EA delta upon L square. For the member AB, the sway occurs towards the left side. So the sway moments should be taken as positive. In the member BC, the displacement occurs on the right side. So the sway moments should be taken as negative. First, let us find the fixed end moments in the member AB. Length of AB is 4. Let us apply that. And the displacement is delta. Let us keep EA delta is 100. Finally, for M of AB and M of BA, we will get 37.5. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the member BC. Length of BC is 5. Let us apply that. For BC, we have to take this displacement which is 5 upon 3 delta. So in the formula, instead of delta, we have to apply 5 upon 3 delta. Finally, for M of BC and M of CB, we will get minus 40. Now let us find the stiffness K. From the joint B, we have to find two stiffness values. 
for B A and for B C, we know that the point A is fixed. We have to assume the point C also as fixed. So we have to use only one formula for the stiffness that is 4 E A upon L. Length of B A is 4, let us apply that. And the length of B C is 5, let us apply that. For the stiffness of B A, we will get E I. And for B C, we will get 0 0.8 E I. Let us find sigma k. For that, we have to add these two values. When we add, we will get 1.8 E i. Then, using this formula, we can find the distribution factors. Now, let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members, then the distribution factors, then the fixed end moments. Now, let us do the first distribution in the joint B. For that, we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factors. When we do that, we are getting negative values. So, we have to enter them as positive. Now, let us do the carryover. For that, we have to divide these values and then enter the answers. Since in the joint B, there is no value, we cannot proceed further. Let us add the values and find the moments. When we add the values, we will get the final moments. Let us take these two moments and find the horizontal reaction in the member AB. Both of these two moments are positive. That means both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. Let us assume that this reaction is acting towards the right side. To find this reaction, let us take a moment about B. HA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. So minus 4 HA. These two movements are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. Finally for HA, we will get 19.271 kN. Now we are going to find a vertical reaction in the point A, that is VA. And using that, we can find the survey force S dash. In the point C, we have the movement MCB 39.444, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Let us take a moment about C and find the vertical reaction VA. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 4 VA. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 7. This movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and this movement is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Finally for VA, we will get this. VA is acting upwards so the survey force should be acting downwards. Since there is no other vertical load, the values of VA and S dash will be same. Only the direction will be different. Now let us find the correction factor K. The formula is S upon S dash. We have found both of them. Let us apply them. Finally for K, we will get 0 0.47. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter all of the survey movements. To get the real final moments, we have to multiply the survey moments with the correction factor. When we do that, we are getting the real final moments. We have calculated the moments on the left side. Now using them, we can find the moments on the right side. For that, we have to just change the directions. For MAB, we have got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. So MED should be acting in the anticlockwise direction and it will be negative. MBA is acting in the clockwise direction. So MDE should be acting in the anticlockwise direction. In the similar way, from MBC and MCB, we can find MDC and MCD. Now using the direction of the movements, we can draw the bending movement diagram. Now let us take the member AB and take a moment about B. 
so that we can get the real horizontal reaction HA. Now let us take the member BC and take movement about C so that we will get the reaction RB. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Alternatively, we can draw the bending movement diagram keeping the positive values above the line. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.